previously on Top Million Dollar Agent. Just got the list from Remax Top 100 this morning. So for the first six months of this year, we're sitting at number 23 in the whole of the country for teams. Wow. First impression. Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's like you're on vacation in a forest. I'm speechless. This is just beautiful. Welcome to Sunnyside. What do you think? Wow, vintage. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Perfect. Do they come with the house? The next property is situated in the village of Blair, just outside of Cambridge. This spectacular custom-built home has over 6,500 square feet of luxurious living space. The dynamic, open-concept living area features a stone fireplace and soaring 20-foot ceilings. The gourmet kitchen has granite counters, breakfast bar, and a large center island for tons of prep space. There's another fireplace in the main floor master bedroom and a large soaker tub in the ensuite for ultimate relaxation. There's also a huge entertainment suite for big parties with a walkout to the absolutely show-stopping backyard. Great job again, home. I think the place oh, looks amazing. Really I, I agree with you. I, uh, I thought I had to get here really early because since the sellers are in Bahamas, but I actually didn't have to at all. The place is stunning. They left it in the perfect condition. Amazing. You know what? I'm really impressed. Yes. Really impressed. Me too. And I'd actually not like to go to work and I like, actually like to <laughs> hang out in that backyard all day. It's beautiful. Wow. Well, you know what? On to the next one. Yep, apparently. By the way, mom and dad know you just bought this car? Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Enjoy. Have a good I'm day. I'm going to go enjoy the backyard before the clients show up. Oh, have fun. Thanks very much. Bye. If it's got Helen's seal of approval, I know we've got a winner here. Beautiful home? Gorgeous. Yeah. How was the drive in this morning? Easy. A little longer than the last drive, but uh, it's doable. So manageable for yeah, you? Yeah, manageable. Good, good. Excellent. When you came in this morning, did you drive through the village of Blair? We did. You did? What'd you think? Really nice. Yeah. Very quaint. I like it. Yeah. So Village of Blair is attached just to the west side of Cambridge. So you're basically an extension of Cambridge here. Lots of nice restaurants downtown. The Grand River actually runs right through Blair. So you get that waterfront feel as well. And what's the neighborhood like? What's the feel? Neighborhood here, uh, homes anywhere from 3,000 to 10,000 square feet. All million dollar properties. You're in amongst like product here, which is really, really good for resale. OK? Good. This one was also built as yesterday's uh, for the current owners and their children. So Chris, you're gonna love again, main floor master bedroom. I think we've hit that one home yesterday. So you're gonna love that. I noticed that there was wrought iron gates there. How many parking spaces and garages are in there? Parking space beyond the wrought iron gates, you've got about three or four, but if you notice the garages, did you? I did. You got five of them. Perfect. So I think that'll do really well for you. I like it. Those gates, by the way, are also mechanical. So open and close with, uh, with a remote control, just like your garage doors. Love that. I noticed the stone and brickwork on the house and does it go all the way around to the back? It does. As you can see in the front, how they took that stone work and kept it with the landscape of the front. It does. It wraps all around the other three sides of the house. So you're full stone and brick all the way through. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think based on your reaction yesterday to the backyard, I think we're going to be able to better that today. I really do. Yeah, I think you're going to be really excited. Perfect. Let's see it. You got it. You ready to go in? I am. Let's take a look. Let's go. Awesome. Good, good. Come on in. What a foyer. Isn't it beautiful? Nice high ceilings, all of your wrought iron accents, beautiful wood staircase as well. And Chris, that staircase extends right from the bottom right to the top, open concept for you. Perfect. Okay. Lovely hardwood floors right throughout the main floor, right into your dining room as well. Perfect for entertaining for you. Beautiful. Okay. Should we take a look inside? I think so. Let's get going. Beautiful two-story great room here. 
Ceiling heights from the front entrance continue right through into the family room. You've got a beautiful gas fireplace, lovely stone mantle, which goes right from floor to ceiling. Hey, Chris, you can practice your rock climbing skills up that wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were the rock climbing type. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Beautiful kitchen behind you, Rosa. Absolutely stunning. Custom cabinetry throughout, high-end appliances everywhere, and a gorgeous breakfast bar for the family in the morning as well. I don't see the appliances. <laughs> Induction cooktop there, so really sleek on the countertop. Your fridge is actually built in behind the cabinetry on the right wow. side. And you do have a built-in wine rack, microwave, and a built-in oven for you as well. Your wrought iron also, Chris, continues up on the top level here. I think you'd probably serenade Rosa from up there. <laughs> I think Rosa could entertain me from up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, guys? I really like this room, though. It's a fantastic entertainment space. It is. But I really don't see a place where I can watch TV. You got two places in the house you can watch TV, actually. Beautiful basement area with a complete bar. And then on the main floor, on the other side of the home, you've got a huge rec room. For you, two 65-inch TVs and a pool table right in the middle and a little bar area as well. Couldn't get any better for you. Now you're talking. I notice out back there, what's going on out there? Got to save the best surprise till last. I think we should go take a look at the master bedroom, though. Okay, sounds okay. good. Ready? Yeah. I like that stone fireplace and the wood mantle. That's fantastic. Rosa, you can even see your Italian gardens from here as well. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look at that beautiful ensuite. Should we go take a look? Yeah. And look at the clawfoot tub. Isn't it gorgeous? Beautiful chandelier above as well, Rosa. Double vanity, natural stone countertops, heated travertine floors as well. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And what's the room just beyond there? Gorgeous walk-in closet, hardwood flooring, and all custom cabinetry throughout as well. Nice. And it looks like we could have a party in that shower. <laughs> I think we could actually. I think we could. <laughs> Rosa, do you want to join me? Oh, sure. <laughs> Should I join you too, Steve? Yeah, I, I think we're okay actually. I think we're good. <laughs> when your clients are friends, it doesn't even feel like work. Wow, <laughs> you've outdone yourself. You weren't kidding. Pretty special, huh? Wow. Watch yourself. Isn't this just beautiful? Oh, I'm in, I'm in love. Really, really nice, huh? This is unbelievable. This is all protected in the back here, so all the trees you see here uh, cannot be cut down, and there's no development at the back end here. Very nice. Yeah. I noticed the fireplace. Is it wood or is it gas? I know you like wood fireplaces. That is a wood-burning fireplace. Very all nice. the stonework is continued throughout the surround of the fireplace. You've got a full bar area. You're wired for sound and all cedar accents there as well. So a great entertaining spot. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I noticed when we walked down though, there's a foundation there. There What's is. That? You know what? They had a trip to Italy. We're inspired by the old foundations, the old ruins in Italy. Mm -hmm. So they had their landscaper, an architect, reproduce that in the backyard as well. Mm -hmm. So not only do you have your stone foundation wall and your ruins, you've also got a sitting area, a little fire pit. Right. You've also got a hammock as well. Nice. Read a book, enjoy. Maybe work from home a few days a week. <laughs> yeah. That's a good looking pool. Is it a concrete pool? That is another concrete pool. You'll notice too, the shallow end, perfect for kids. Little waiting area for little ones. So I know you've got one little one. That'll be perfect for her as well. To excite you even more, it's all fully automated. The lighting, the pumps, the fountains, everything's controlled through remote. Perfect. Yeah. Well, get my trunks because I'm going in. That's it. <laughs> We're going to see one more though, right? I don't know. Look at out here. It's, what else do we need? We've got a fireplace, a bar, pool, sitting area. I just like to see one more, okay? But really, what for? Well, it just, you know what, let's be practical and just like weigh out all our options and make sure that we know we feel comfortable we made the right decision, okay? I gotta agree, Chris. It's paradise out here. It really, truly is. But you know what? I've done a lot of research. I think it would definitely work for you to see another one and see how you feel at the end. All right, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> there we go. Great. Our last stop is in the town of Ayr, just minutes west of Cambridge. This luxury custom home is set on a two and a half acre lot. The spacious living area is open to above with large windows and custom walnut floors. The Tiled Chef's Kitchen has a sit down dining area and beautiful breakfast bar. There are five opulent bedrooms and six full bathrooms. There's also a fully finished basement with living area and custom wet bar. The backyard 
is full of potential with ample space for a pool and an outdoor dining area. Beautiful exterior here. Stonework just like the last house. Beautiful landscape. This home was custom built by the current owners a few years ago as well. There's lots of attention to detail in here. And so, I really like the doors and the stamped concrete's really nicely done. All upgraded doors and windows throughout here with the custom build. And what about this road, Steve? It's a little bit noisy. You know what, it is a busier road. We are right through rush hour traffic right now. Once we get to the back and the outside, you're gonna see, you won't be able to hear a thing. Steve, what is that building over there? Chris, you got a beautiful, just under 2,000 square foot shop there for you. You can see the big bay door in the middle. You can fit a full RV in there. Two other doors, you can put your tractors, ATVs, your jet skis, boat, all of your toys in there, TV, stereo in there. Wow. A little man cave for you. That sounds great. It is. I know you also like to do some work in the winter, I think, on the cars. I do. You got a full heater out there as well. Full gas heater runs the length of the garage. You can also customize the whole of the music and the whole of the TV experience. Great. I love it. Perfect. Awesome. Let's go take a look inside. Okay, what do you think? Go. Let's go. Come on in. Impressive. Wow. Beautiful. It's big. It is. It's really open. It is really spacious. Yes. I think it's the natural light. Huge windows at the front door here, and beautiful windows out to the back as well. Let's a lot of natural light in. You'll see also that beautiful staircase, solid cherry, beautiful wrought iron spindles throughout. And again, all the lights coming in from the top there as well as we've got the balcony up top with the staircase and the flow over. There's lots of other custom features throughout here. Beautiful marble tile, we've got gorgeous exotic hardwoods all the way through the main floor here as well. Nice. Yeah, very nice. I'm seeing a spectacular view out there, Steve. That's pretty impressive. You are. One of the best, I think, really. Very, very open there. I think you're going to like it. I would agree. Definitely. I like the focal point here with this center table. I could see a big, beautiful bouquet on there. Christmas time, the holidays. Exactly. You got it, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's take a run through the house. Sounds good. Good like rest. Isn't this beautiful? Max. Chris, I think this one feature alone is going to sell you this house. What's that? Here's your ticket. This little device here will control the whole house for you, the whole thing. So you mean every TV in the house? Every TV in the house. What about the, all the audio? Every speaker in the house. You're kidding. I'm not. Wow. Add that to in-floor heating, to all your thermostat controls, you're set. Wow. Nothing else, you don't need anything else. Okay, what about me? What has the house got for me in here? <laughs> you know what? Rosette, state-of-the-art kitchen behind me. You are gonna love it. I think one of the best kitchens we've seen all upgraded cabinetry, state-of-the-art appliances. You've got a gorgeous eating area for the kids. Fireplace in the corner there for you. Huge breakfast bar. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be great for you for entertaining. Even a TV for morning. What else could you want? And Chris can control it. <laughs> One other feature, Rose, I think you're gonna love in here is all of the lighting in this whole house is all Swarovski crystals. Every single wow. one of them. Two-sided fireplace below the TV there that goes right through into the master bedroom. That's all Swarovski crystals as well. Wow. Something for you as well? Yep. And parking for eight cars for Chris. Parking for all eight cars all in eight garages. Cars in garages. Now we're talking. You got it. Head to the master bedroom. Sounds good. Let's go. Sounds good. Wow, Steve, I think this is the nicest master bedroom we've seen so far. I think so. Yeah. Chris, you've got your TV, all your automation that you love. You've got all your in-ceiling speakers in here as well. Rosa, your bedside lights are all crystal and that beautiful double-sided fireplace. Nice. Right? I think it really does the trick. It's beautiful. And what about the size of the ensuite in the walk-in closet? Walk-in closet, totally custom. Shoes, purses, fit for a queen. I think you'll be really happy with that. And your ensuite, heated marble floors double sinks, marble countertops, again, all your Swarovski crystal lighting right throughout. Beautiful soaker tub with views to outside. Also, nice makeup counter for you as well. I know you like that in one of the other houses. Add that to the beautiful view of the countryside here, and I think we've got a winner. Let's not take my word for it though. Let's go have a look. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll follow you out.
Oh, you are a gentleman, Chris. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that countryside goes on for miles. You've got the creek running right through the property. You've got two and a half acres of beautiful land here. Nothing much could be better. It's fantastic. It is. And what about um, schools, vicinity to the schools? So being that the village of Ayr is three, four minutes just to the south of us, you've got schools there. So all your local schools are right in town. So very, very close for the kids. What about restaurants? You've got restaurants there, also shopping as well. So you've got all your grocery store and everything very right. close. You're in and out of there in, in five to 10 minutes. Perfect. Great. Yeah, awesome. 401 access for you guys is very easy from here. You're three to five minutes, you're back on the highway and back to your jobs back and forth in the morning and the evening. Tell me a little bit more about that shop, Steve. A <laughs> shop. Parking in there, I think realistically, you could probably get about six cars in that shop alone. Wow. You're just under 2,000 square feet. Beautiful big bay door we saw in the middle. That'll fit a full RV trailer in there. So tons of room. That's excellent. It is, definitely. With putting the pool you want in the backyard here and the price of just over 1.5 million, I think you can make this place exactly what you want and still come in way under budget. How much yeah. was the last house, Steve, that we saw? The last house, just over 2.2 million. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, it sounds like we got a decision to make. I think you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, we do got to get back to the city and get the kids. We, maybe we should get a bite to eat before we go back. Sure. You know, a great restaurant in Cambridge. How about I text you the directions on the way out? You can grab some dinner before you have to go back into the city and get the kids. That sounds that good. That work? Sounds good. Awesome. Great, we'll reconvene later. I haven't heard from Chris and Rosa in a couple of days. I think I'll stop by and see how they're doing. Hey, Steve, what are you doing here? Good to see you. You too. So we're just in the neighborhood. I've seen another client. Thought I'd stop by, see you and Rosa, how the decision's going, if you need any help. Rosa's not quite sure on the location. You know, I could see that the other day. I could, you know what? I think I got an idea though. Let me call the guys at Remax. Let me see if I can get a hot air balloon up. You know what? Maybe we take her up see everything from the top. Maybe she can see the distance from the city. Maybe that'll make her decision a little bit easier. That's a great idea. You know what, let me work on it. I'll text you the information and uh, you know what, let's see if we can get her up in the next day or two. Sounds good. Alrighty, okay. you're good. Have a good night. You too, thanks. Talk to you, Chris. I can't wait for Rosa to get up there in that balloon. Talk about gaining a whole new perspective. Thanks for picking me up, Steve. You know what, Rosa, my pleasure. You know, it's, I think today's gonna be a fun day. I'm excited to get up in that balloon. I am too. This is my first time on a hot air balloon. You know what, me too. You know, <laughs> I'm a little bit, you know, a little bit timid, a little bit scared, but you know, I think it's gonna be fun. To be able to see now from an aerial view, um, the real distance um, from these different locations. Let's do this. Wow, <laughs> that was fantastic. I think Rosa had a lot of fun up there. Hopefully, it was helpful in her decision making. Thanks very much for having me in. You know, I understand, Chris, after talking to you today, you guys are ready to make a decision. We really appreciate you taking us to all these houses, Steve. It was wonderful. My pleasure, honestly. It was wonderful working with both of you. And I have to say too, the idea of going up in the balloon was fantastic. It gave me such a great sense of proximity between all the different locations, and it was so much fun. It was a perfect day for it too. Beautiful up there, it, it really was. was. Let's recap the houses. Our push lynch home, attention to detail in that house was exquisite, gorgeous backyard, and the location there is superb. We've got our beautiful home in the village of St. George, century home built in the 1800s, really exquisite detail in there. They've kept it really period and a beautiful property. And then our Blair house where Chris fell in love with the backyard and almost didn't want to leave. His parking for five cars and a bit of a community feel there I felt was, uh, was good as well. We've got our open concept home in air, miles and miles of countryside and really freshly built, which was really, really nice as well. So where are we at with the homes? Well, Steve, we really liked all of them but the Century House was probably just a little bit too much renovation needed. So 
I think that we're going to eliminate that one. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And I love the countryside and air. Beautiful backyard. It was so calm. Beautiful details. I just felt it was a little bit too open. I'm just looking for something a little bit more cozier, yeah. um, especially with the kids being so young right now. Shame too, because we had a great afternoon out there. It was a great end to a day out there looking over the countryside. But you know, I do understand you know where the decision comes from. So I mean, we're down to two. A little drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we at? I think we know where we're at. You do? So yes, we're gonna go with the Blair House. With that backyard, it was just magnificent. It was unbelievable. And then we have the parking for at least five or six cars. Combine that with the layout inside the house. It really gives us what our family needs. Yeah, I good. have to agree. I guess it's worth the drive to Blair. It is. <laughs> it is, it is. Let's get some paperwork drawn up and uh, let's get that house for you. Sounds Thank you, good. Steve. Good. Congratulations. Thanks. Welcome Thank you. you so much. You're welcome. When you go the extra mile for your clients, it always pays off. next time on Top Million Dollar Agent. What do you think? Wow. This is beautiful. I mean, you can lay right in this bed, wake up in the morning, and look right at the ocean. I really want to see my walking clothes. At this is the best unit in the entire project at Cocoa Beach Resort. I couldn't yeah. ask for anything more. <laughs> I can actually dance there. <laughs> it's so big, beautiful. Oh, wow. But it's amazing.